and welcome to Will Wild. Uh, today I'm going to try some more Florida beers. We've got two Florida beers that are both tangerine wheat ales. Let's start off with this one here. It is uh, by the Darwin Brewing Company in Bradenton, Florida. Circa 1926 Tangerine Wheat Ale and it comes in at 5.2% alcohol by volume. Let's see here, Florida Tangerine, Citra Hops, Coriander. Not overly sweet or sugary. This is a balanced warm weather beer, ideal for the beach or the boat. And it has been hot as balls here in Florida lately. I figured I would do some Florida summer beers. So, let's give it a try. All right. We got a pretty average looking Wheat beer, a little bit hazy, but not too hazy. Uh, got a lot of large bubbles in there. Pretty effervescent. I definitely smell yeast. I can smell the coriander for sure. I'm not really smelling too much of the tangerine. All right, let's give it a sip. All right, that's a nice malt uh, character there. It's um, crackery, wheat, deliciousness. It's not too strong on the tangerine. It's really subtle. Yeah, it's not too strong on the tangerine at all. It's barely there. It's just like if you were to have a regular wheat beer and you would taste that, you know, hint of orange peel or something. This is the hint of tangerine um, instead of orange. Um, coriander, you can taste it. It's subtle as well. Uh, it goes really well with that wheat malt. It's very refreshing. Um, it's not, it finishes a little bit on the dry side. Uh, so it's nice and crisp. You get a hint of sourness um, from that yeast there as well, which is really kind of nice for Florida summers. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's definitely above average. Um, we'll see what we we'll rate this at the end. All right, so next up we have from the Brew Bus Brewing Company um, out of Tampa, Florida, Tangerine Splash Belgian Style Vit Beer. It's a 5.2% alcohol by volume. Um, tangerine Splash. I mean, it looks like a crazy like kids drink. Um, take a sip of the Sunshine State with the Belgian Twist. Florida grown tangerines, uh, light bodied wheat beer, spiced with coriander, and chamomile. So, I think this will be pretty good too. So, this one's slightly lighter in color. Um, a little more golden straw color. It's got a lot finer bubbles. Now this one is super yeasty compared to that one. Yeah, like a sour yeast. You can smell the tangerine. Can't smell the malts in it, but it does smell good. Yeah, this is definitely better. 
it's uh, it's got a lot more um, yeast flavor. It's got more tangerine flavor. I can taste uh, more of the coriander, and I can definitely taste the chamomile. Um, I don't taste the malts as much. Um, I might the more I sip on it, so let's do some more sipping. Yeah, they're, they're there. I can taste them. They're just a little more subtle because all the other flavors are coming out a little stronger. Um, it's uh, pouring on bread and uh, less cracker compared to the other one. Uh, but it's subtle and uh, the tangerine and coriander, it goes together quite well, especially with that yeastiness. Um, yeah, this one's really, really good. Um, I definitely like it better than the Darwin. Um, hmm, that's tough. I'm gonna try and rate these beers now. Okay. The dark one's pretty good. Um, uh, but it's not amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and give the Darwin Tangerine Wheat a six and a half out of 10. And the Brew Bus. Yeah, that's a lot more what I expect out of a, a wheat beer. It's pretty damn tasty. Um, and it's a lot more refreshing, actually, than this one here. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and give this one an 8 out of 10. It's uh, really good. You should definitely try it. Brew Bus Tangerine Splash. Uh, Belgian style wheat beer. Uh, definitely give that a try. Third one's pretty good. If you want to try that, try that too. Um, anyhow, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, uh, hit that notification bell, and I will see you next time. Cheers.